Hello friends and welcome back to this week's installment of the Teachable Tuesday series. I am your host Victoria and today we're going to talk about something a little different. Something that I don't think a lot of people talk about but I think it's so so necessary and it's how to prepare for your death today. Now before you say to yourself, Victoria, way to kill the mood on this video, <laughs> just hear me out for a sec. This is an important topic that is kind of like the elephant in the room, something that not many people want to talk about because we don't like thinking about death. You know, who really enjoys thinking about their death? Um, but it is so important to recognize that this life that we have on earth is finite. Um, but the life in the next world, the life in heaven is infinite. And so we need to know how to prepare our hearts for that today. Now there are many landmark events of our lives that we like to talk about. So we love talking about our birthdays or when someone gets married or when someone has their first kid. There's a lot of joy that comes with that. Um, but another big landmark event that is not talked about enough is when we die. Uh, mostly because there's a lot of unknown with that. But what we can know for sure is that as baptized Christians in the Lord, uh, on the day of our baptism, the Lord said, if you die with me, you will rise with me. And that's a promise. And so death is something that we don't have to fear. Um, death can be something that we can embrace even on earth now. And we have to be sure that we prepare for it every single day because the Lord says, you do not know the day or the hour that I'm gonna come take you home. But just as a bride goes to meet her bridegroom on her wedding day, so too will we meet the divine bridegroom someday. You know, there's that saying, I guess it's kind of outdated now. I'm gonna bring it up anyways, YOLO. You only live once. It's true, you do only live once. You only have this one life on earth that you need to live well. But you only die once as well. So we need to be sure that we're prepared for the day that the Lord takes us home. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about some practicals of how we can live our every day of our lives as if we're gonna die, but not in a fearful way because the Lord tells us 365 times in the Bible, do not fear, do not fear, do not fear. Um, but how can we live in that hope of the resurrection here on earth today? So we're gonna talk about that in a moment. So what are some practicals of how we can live our lives here on earth in a way that prepares us for the day that we're gonna die? Well, I'm gonna talk about a few of those things. One main important takeaway from this is to stay close to Jesus in prayer. You don't wanna to get to heaven one day and have him say to you that I never knew you, depart from me. You want him to know you to your depths. So it's so important to stay connected to God in prayer, whether that's through the rosary, which is truly the greatest spiritual weapon on this earth, and I encourage everyone to take it up, we have the Divine Mercy Chaplet, that's a wonderful prayer to pray, especially for those who you know who have just recently passed away or who are sick. That's another great prayer. Read the scriptures every day. St. Jerome says, ignorance of scripture is ignorance of Christ. And so we can't know the Lord if we don't know him in his word. So take up that Bible, take up that rosary, take up the Divine Mercy Chaplet, prepare yourselves well. So the second very important component of this and how to live your life as if you're gonna die every day is to stay close to the sacraments I cannot stress this enough the sacramental graces that come from receiving the Eucharist going to confession uh, and even the anointing of the sick if you find you're in a circumstance where you're very sick it is so important to receive that sacramental grace so that you can live that life of holiness here on earth and be the saint that God is calling you to be so like I said before, the Eucharist is so, so important. It is so necessary that you receive the Eucharist and go to Mass as often as possible. Let me repeat that. Go to Mass, receive the Eucharist as often as possible. I'm going to be real with you here for a second. Uh, maybe it's an unpopular opinion. It is still the truth though. If you cannot spend one hour of your day, one hour of the week with the Lord at Mass, you cannot spend all eternity with Him. It's just not possible. Maybe you're sitting here listening to this thinking to yourself, man, I don't remember when the last time I went to Mass was. Fear not, because the grace of God is so available to you, the Lord is reaching out to you, I believe, even just through this video, to say, come back home, come back home to Him. If it's been a while, go to confession, 
receive the grace of God, receive that mercy for your sins, and receive his love, and then come back because he's waiting for you there. He longs for you to come. So come. So these few ways are just some of the many ways that we can prepare our hearts and our souls for the day that the Lord takes us home. But something else that we have to talk about that's equally important is preparing for that hour of death. Now I understand that that may not be the case for everyone, that is a reality, um, but we can do everything that we can, even here and now, to prepare for that grace, to prepare to go home to the Lord. So some of the many ways that we can try and prepare for our death now is to just kind of have like a little protocol in place, maybe to have that in mind for if you get very ill um, and you need to see a priest. I would suggest that you try and get last rites or the anointing of the sick. There are so many sacramental graces that come from the sacrament. Uh, get the viaticum, which is basically food for the journey, which is your last Eucharist. Very important for that spiritual journey home. So another important thing that you can do, that you can add to your little list, uh, or leave if it's a mental list or write it down if you want, um, is to have people pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet for you. Or you can pray it yourself for those who you know who are sick, um, that they may receive the grace of God to just trust Him completely at the moment of their death. So another thing that I am personally wanting to do and prepare for for the day that I go, um, to have in place in a will would be to just have people say Gregorian masses for me instead of having flowers put uh, at the funeral home. There's a lot of graces that specifically come from the Gregorian masses themselves um, that really help people on that road back home. So maybe something you can do, something to think about, is have Gregorian masses said instead of flowers. I mean, there's a lot more eternal value I think that comes from having that grace of the holy sacrifice of the Mass um, than any flowers really could. Another big thing that you can do that I forgot to mention before but is equally important uh, to prepare for your death now is to pray to Saint Joseph. Uh, Saint Joseph is actually the patron, um, among many other things, he's actually the patron of happy deaths. So we can pray to him even today. Uh, ask St. Joseph as our spiritual father to pray for us that we would have that grace to receive a happy death. So keeping all this in mind, I'm going to issue a new challenge for this week. I encourage you and I challenge you to pick something from this talk, maybe that stood out to you that you know, you know, maybe I need to work on praying every day or going to a daily mass or going to confession. Um, if, if it is confession, I highly recommend you do that first, among all other things. I think that is probably the most important one. Um, but just pick one of them and take it up this week. Also pray to St. Joseph for the grace of a happy death this week, so that one day you may receive the grace to trust the Lord with your whole heart, even at the hour of death, and that you'll be welcomed home into the heavenly kingdom of God. That's all the time we have for this week, but I will see you next week for our newest installment of the Teachable Tuesday series. Bye guys!